Yeah. Pat, you are definitely one of the most controversial comedians in the game. Thank you. What is like the craziest Is he thing? more controversial than Richard Brown? For nope. this time he is, okay. for this era. Okay, talk to him. Um, um, which yeah. she would know. Is, is the most outrageous thing you've heard about yourself, true or false, in media, whatever, that was just like, wow. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so technically, this story doesn't have anything to do with me. Okay. Because I've never been the funniest person on the planet at any point. So now it doesn't matter if people have a different opinion, and it doesn't matter if my fans think differently. They're biased. They should think differently. Mm -hmm. But now Dave Chappelle has always been funnier than me. At and Chris Rock has always been funnier than me. I've always been aware of who was funnier than me. I've just also been aware of who wasn't. So now I know the real Bernie Mac stories and I know that the people that made money off Bernie Mac didn't like him. They hated his guts. And that was our king. That was our real king for all of those of us who was out there doing it for $20 for 45 minutes on some almost a hoe. Well, I know what you're saying. I know Bernie Mac. I'm from yeah. Chicago. I'm saying, oh, that yeah, we know real, That was yeah. our real comedy king. Not, you gave him his first job. Not how it went down. Not how it ended up. Because sometimes the victors rewrite history. But by the same token, God is there for us. And sometimes his best mm -hmm. gift to us is getting us out. Mm -hmm. So right when Bernie had proven his point, and right when Bernie showed everybody who he actually was, and curtain scene. Just like Rick James. Rick James was in obscurity and then God said, you know what? You can run them bases one more time. And he ran them bases <laughs> one more time. And that's what it was. I'm saying, Heavy D was, I was with him every day before he went. Yvette Wilson was living in my house when, I'm saying, I'm not, I'm, I'm saying. Talk to him, talk to him. It's a different tell Hollywood story. than the Hollywood. And the reason you don't know these stories is there's no one to tell you these stories. Because you can't make me tell them. That's right. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying it's always like Porter said, controversial cat. Yeah, you know what I mean. Be, should be. Where cat being? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is he better than Jamie? Is he, no. be is he better than Kevin Hart? No. Uh, is he is he better oh, yeah. than Dave Chappelle? You know? cold. Well, I like that that you say that, but, but your we fans take have another a difference way. of opinion. We your fans. We think you cold. Prove my points. Well, that's why I said your fans have a difference of opinion. But Dave Chappelle was decapitated in front of us. And until we deal with that, until we deal with um, <laughs> the fact that a devout Muslim who doesn't eat bacon was accused of being a crackhead, until we, until we <laughs> establish the fact that they said that he went to Africa to smoke cocaine when we know they don't have running water and food over there. When they don't have paved roads over there, you saying he flew past Chicago and Miami and L.A. and New York and Detroit. You saying he went past Cleveland and Fort Pierce, Florida, and he went past Okeechobee and Oakland. You saying he went to there. another country yeah, where they got smoke. eaten? Right. You talking about somebody who has a wife and children, five children, and lives on a farm, doesn't live here in Hollywood. You saying you oh, yeah. convinced people that person wow. was an insane crackhead? Wow. And he hasn't been on movies and TV for eight years. Is that correct? Wow. Okay, then don't tell me about what you want to tell me about. I just watched you decapitate the king in front of me. And then act like he's supposed to catch up and be a regular comedian wow. like everybody else. But no. He didn't go for that. That's not how I went. He was out there with us for 20 years. They called him Pilot Boy because he had 19 pilots in Hollywood. And everybody passed on him and said his show... What do you think of then when he made five hundred million dollars, they said even though his contract said he should get half of it, they said he made too much for the contract to be valid. So we'll offer you ten percent of what you made. You mean he made five hundred million and they offered him fifty? Yes. And he said, What do you think my fans are gonna say when they find out you offered me ten percent of what I made you? And they said your fans will believe that you're a crazy crackhead by the time you get home. And my nigga got on the flight in L.A. And by the time he got to Ohio, 
It was wow. so. And eight years later, he hasn't been in a movie and or television. Is just now trying to do his real comeback at Radio City Music Hall. It bees like that sometimes. So now you can be the fake king or you can be the real king, but heavy is the head.